Hey, my friends, here are five reasons I feel you should own a vertical power grip. These are in no particular order. Number one. First reason is you get longer battery life because you have not one, but two batteries in your vertical power grip. Now, I recently shot a high school basketball tournament. I shot four games back to back to back to back. Didn't run out of the battery life at all. And in fact, I probably could have shot one more game. Number two. Number two has to do with overheating issues. Now we've all heard the stories, maybe even experienced overheating issues with Nikon, Sony's and the Canon's. Because what happens? Get your batteries right up by the camera body. So when it's being used, a heavy load, especially doing videography, the heat just kind of moves its way down through the camera body and you get overheating issues. What the vertical power grip does is it moves the battery away from the camera body. So instead of the battery being right here with the camera body, it's moved away. So you got plenty of room. The heat can just go wherever it wants to go. And this can help lessen and eliminate the overheating issues. The other advantage of a vertical power grip is it can give you more stable vertical shots. So when you're shooting horizontal, you're like this and you have to go vertical, you're usually like this. You can see me right here. So you kind of kind of pulling around like this a little bit. So it's kind of you're not very stable. You're not really tucked in. You want to be tucked in as much as you can. Gives you a better shot. So if you're like this, shooting vertical, it can cause you some problems. When you put the vertical power grip on, when you go from horizontal to vertical, you're still tucked in nice and tight. Again, vertical, horizontal, nice and tight like this. When I'm shooting volleyball, for instance, shooting the backcourt, I want to get me a nice wide horizontal shot. But then it moves toward the net. I go right up into vertical without any problems at all. Very nice. And it's a very smooth transition as opposed to going like this and swinging your arm around. Number four. Another reason to pick up this grip would be because of ergonomics. Now, some of you sports photographers out there have big hands. I'm not one of them, but even this comes in handy for me. Handy. See what I did there? It gives me a place to put this pinky, which would normally be below the camera, as a nice, nice, comfortable spot where my pinky can rest. And it makes me oh so very happy. Yeah, ergonomics. Another good reason. Number five. Now, the final reason may seem kind of silly. Having this grip on there makes you look more professional. So it looks like a big camera body. It looks like it's really expensive. It looks like you spent a lot of money, especially if you have like a 200 to 600 millimeter lens on here, something like that. You look so much more professional than if you go to a game with something like this. This is the Sony a6000, Sony 50 millimeter lens. I've actually shot this professionally and gotten some really strange looks from people when they see me shooting this but I've sold quite a few images with this combination right here. If you want to look more professional, a grip is the way to do it. Now that I've convinced you to pick up a power grip, you have to decide, do you go for a third-party power grip or do you get one made by the original manufacturer? My experience with third-party power grips has been great. I've had no problems at all with them. In fact, this one right here is the third-party power grip, which I'll talk about more in another video. But this one right here costs $74. If I would have gotten the one from Sony, that would be $400. Let that sink in. You're probably interested in other gear I feel you should purchase. So go ahead and check out this video right here. It will answer that question for you. So once you get your power grip, I want you to throw a couple of batteries in it, throw it on the camera and get out and shoot.